Welcome to JAG Learning, the chemistry section. In this video, we'll be going over the Van Hoff equation. Okay, let's begin by reading the problem. The equilibrium constant for a reaction is doubled when the temperature is changed from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. What is the value of delta H or enthalpy for this reaction? Okay, so to begin with, what we need for this problem is actually the Van Hoff equation, what this video is actually over about. The Van Hoff <laughs> equation. And with this equation, we can basically just plug and chug, but you're going to need to commit this to memory. So <coughs> what the Van Hoff equation basically tells, tells us is the relationship between K constants, the equilibrium, and how temperature affects it as, lo as well as delta H. Okay? So we can begin. So the natural log, the equation begins with natural log of k2 over k1. So what's k2 and k1 in this problem? Well, it says here that once it's doubled, so k2, the doubled is actually just means 2, right? So it's 2 over 1, which is basically 2. 2 over 1, just 2. I'll just write 2 there. So the natural log of 2, we go here, it's equal to the negative delta h. And here, the question is actually asking for delta H. So we'll just use some algebra to isolate it later on. This is over R. And this R here is 8.314. And you mu multiply it by the reciprocal of the second temperature. OK, make sure you get this also. Instead of being. Um, instead of using the Celsius written in the problem, you actually need to use, convert it to Kelvin, which is simply Celsius plus 273, which is equal to your Kelvin, okay? 273. So you subtract these two temperatures together, and you should be given your delta H or enthalpy. So let's just use some, simp let's just use some algebra to isolate the H. So it's natural log of 2 divided by 1 minus the reciprocal of these two temperatures. Oops, this should be the sec this should be the second temperature. So minus 1 over T1. And you multiply this by the R value. And you should be given your negative delta H. And actually, you can multiply the negative over. So the negative of all of this should be equal to your delta H. OK, let's pull out the calculator and see for ourselves. So negative, negative natural log 2, right. And then over the reciprocal, so 1 divided by here, we get um, initial temperature, we get the second temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, so it's just 100 plus 273 Kelvin, so just 373 Kelvin, and 25 plus 273 is equal to 298, so 1 over 373, 1 over 373 minus And we're back, okay. And we do it over 1 divided by 373 minus 1 divided by 298. And you multiply that by the R constant, which is 8.314. And you're given, as you can see here, uh, 8,540, which is closest to actually, which is closest to B. And B is your correct answer. 